Given the function, find the following. We're told that the function f of x is equal to 3.2 times the sixth root of x, and we're asked to find f of 45. Well, f of 45 would be 3.2 times the sixth root of 45. Now, our calculator can do this calculation. What we would do is type 3.2 times. We have to put that multiplication in in this situation. Now, the sixth root, what we have to do here is type the 6 first, then bring up the xth root key, the fifth option, sixth root of x, uh, not x, but in this case 45, and hit enter. And we find that that's about 6.035. Now, of course, if you remember from a previous chapter, the sixth root of x is the same thing as x to the 1 sixth power. So, I could have also input the function as 3.2x to the 1 sixth. And if I do that, uh, and, and instead of uh, x, it would be 45. So, 3.2 times 45 caret parentheses 1 division 6 close parentheses we get the same thing. And so we want to remember what we learned about those exponents way back in that previous chapter, because sometimes it's easier to work with exponents. Estimate numerically x such that f of x is 16. All right, so to do this, I'm going to go to my y equals screen and put in that function 3.2 times x to the 1 1 sixth power. Estimate numerically, so I'm going to use a table of values. Now what I know about radical functions is they increase very slowly after a certain point. So if I were to just go to my table setting, start at 0 and increase by 1's, oops, go to the table, it's at 4, but it's going very slowly. It's going to take a long time to get all the way up to 16. So what I would recommend doing in this case is change your table setting. Instead of putting it on that auto, let's put it on ask. And let's start typing in larger and larger numbers until we get a sort of a boundary. So what if we put in a 1,000 for x? All right, we're at 10. All right, what about 5,000? 13. Well, that's better. We're looking for 16. About 10,000. Okay, 14.8. That's better. How about 15,000? 15 15.89. Okay. Now let's go, let's use smaller increments. How about 16,000? 16.06. Okay, so let's split the difference. 15,500. So 15.9. Okay, so it's between 15,500 and 16,000. How about 15,700? A little bit too high. How about 15,600? A little bit too low. 15,650. Just a little bit too high. So let's decrease it a little bit. How about 15,625? Oh, and that's almost perfect. Oh, it is perfect. 15,625, exactly 16. All right, so there's a little bit of trial and error, a little bit of guessing to do. But eventually, you can come up with a solution numerically. So x is, a, is equal to 15,625. Now, if we're given this graph, find the following. We're asked to estimate g of 2 and g of x, uh, and x such that g of x is equal to negative 9. All right, so to evaluate g of 2, well, the input is 2. When the input is 2, what's the output? 
negative 6. So g of 2 is negative 6. x such that g of x is equal to negative 9. We want the output to be negative 9. Well, the output is negative 9 at this point, which appears to be at about negative 3. So x equals negative 3.